Peggy 12. It's sometimes difficult to do the right thing, and I really believe I've always meant well. Isaac? You mean Dad? Dad always meant well. In the heart of Deliver Us Mars is this intimate story, and this is all woven into a big space opera. The Johansson family consists of Isaac and Liz Johansson as the mom and dad, and together they have two daughters. Claire is the older sister of Kathy. The mom dies relatively early on. Claire, being the older sibling, is the one who has to default first into becoming the grown-up, the one who has to have responsibilities. And that creates this interesting dynamic between her and her sister where they are best friends. But there's also a little bit of a different power dynamic where she also has to be her mom. Kathy Johansson is so funny. She's cheeky. She's got this rebellious streak to her. Claire has very much stepped up as almost like a mother role, which has allowed Kathy to stay this young, sort of, I can do anything, immortality, and Claire's very real. Kathy should be someone that you can resonate with, she had a hard time living up to her sister's uh, degrees because she was, of course, uh, a very studied sci-fi enthusiast. Bubbling underneath, there's this unresolved, uncomfortable issue around their father. I think they view their father very differently. Not only the motivation, of course, to find a solution for the future of Earth, her uh, hidden motivation is as well to find out what happened to her dad. Kathy, I don't want to be disrespectful, but what your dad and the Lunar Council did, they deserve to be punished. This is a cinematic operatic piece, which is still embedded in a family drama. Telling a story from a family perspective is something uh, very close to the heart. We come from a family of four, so we have two sisters. Uh, and of course, the two of us, we have started a company together, so we know the mix between uh, siblings. Telling the story on a bigger podium, even more dramatic, even more emotional than we did in the first one. The heart of the game is absolutely an astronaut adventure, while also discovering an emotional bond between a father and a daughter, both tasked with hard uh, questions that humanity deals with. Games are a beautiful art, and they're immersive art. It's not just a passive watching a story unfold. You're in the story with the person. There is a place for good drama in games. Why Delivers Mars is so special is who decides what's best for mankind. It's time you choose, Isaac, which side you are actually on. And it's a beautiful game. It's, it's got stunning visuals, such a compelling story and characters. It's epic. Thank you.